this is how many people are using advertising metrics to not analyze the data properly. How should they be using the metrics that they have? What types of metrics should they be using to actually analyze and see if you know, their messaging, their branding is successful? Well, let's start at what we're looking to accomplish, right? Which is we're looking to improve perceptions of a brand. From an advertising perspective, we tie it back to the sales funnel, right? Awareness, interest, conversion. Now there's evangelism because people are so digitally connected. And when search and social and mobile technology came out, people started thinking that the sales funnel was completely disrupted. They changed the shape into a sousaphone, consultants started charging exorbitant rates, all this stuff. It's still shaped like a funnel because lots of people are aware, less people are interested, less people buy, and less people become evangelists. All of the stuff that we focus in on, all of the great and passion brands out there, it's all about the mid-funnel, which is perceptions of a brand. The brands that you love, the brands that we all love, they're not built because they're doing great stuff at the top, like great awareness, I know their name, and it's not done at the bottom. Great sales, great promotions, like they, they talk me into buying, no. It's the mid-funnel. You perceive them to be great because they have a value system that you love, they have some shared empathy, they improve your life in some way, shape, or form. That pushes you down the sales funnel, not just to be a customer, but to be an evangelist. So the key is to build a metric system around that so you're able to track the perceptions of your brand. If you can track it back to an activation, like a piece of content, that's great. All of this stuff is really easy to skew, right? I spent 10 years purely doing research. I've spent about 25 years loosely doing research. There's so much data, so much metrics. It's easy to skew and twist this stuff to tell any story that you want to. So it's important that you come up with something that seems logical and sound for the mid funnel. It's important that when at the end of the day, you really are focused in on sales. Don't get me wrong, like you have to sell stuff, but you need to be able to t tie it all together through attribution tools. So you're not just looking at that last click. How does perceptions in those videos or user generated content or experiences, how does it tie together with stuff that might, people might click on like an email? So there's all these different things. At the end of the day, with all of this data and all of this technology, it still comes down to great intelligence, great creativity, and great leadership. If it was as simple as boop, boop, get the data, every brand would be a passion brand. That's antithetical, that's impossible, right? You need great leadership. You need people to say, yeah, I'm gonna use the metrics as a piece of input, but that is not the absolute tool to fix everything. Like, you can easily get confused by the data. You have to be looking at the bigger picture. You have to be looking at the stories that are told through the data and those broad insights.